After three years, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were back with the Irish Guards for the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. The last parade was organized in 2019 and since then has been cancelled due to the COVID-19. Prince William, who has been the Colonel of Irish Guards since May 2011, and Duchess Catherine attended the parade at Mons Barracks in Aldershot. Every year in March, on St. Patrick's Day, hundreds of soldiers march, led by an Irish mascot. This year's mascot is Wolfhound Tullamore, also known as Seamus. After the salute, a royal lady presents the shamrock to the officers and guardsmen who in turn distribute it in their ranks. Shamrock presentation parade traced their origins to the turn of the 20th century on 28 February 1900 when Queen Victoria instructed all ranks of Irish regiments to wear a sprig of shamrock in their headdress to commemorate the gallantry of Irish soldiers. Today was not an exception either. The Duchess presented the Irish wolf found regimental mascot with his own sprig of shamrock to mark the occasion. Following the parade, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge met members of the regiment before sitting for official officers and sergeants mess photograph and a photo with Irish guards in every rank in the British Army. Next, the royal couple visited the junior ranks dining hall where the senior guardsmen and the battalion raised a toast to them. The Duchess of Cambridge has been attending the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade since 2012. She has only missed it in 2016. For the day, the Duchess of Cambridge was wearing a green Laura Green London Amelia coat with her Emmy London Rebecca palms, a pair of diamond and emerald earrings, and a matching green hat. She topped the coat with a Cartier shamrock brooch. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are all set for their first ever Caribbean tour and will depart from London on Saturday. In other news, the Duchess of Cambridge's birthday portrait will be on a display at the Welcome Gallery of Reading Museum from 7th April to 4th June. The Duchess has spent her childhood in reading, and when the portraits were released in January earlier this year, it was announced the portraits will go to the places that hold special places in Duchess' heart and life. If you find the video interesting, please press the like button below and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more royal news.